Good sir, are you tired of these boring old biomes that you find all over in Minecraft? How would you like it if you could make these biomes just a bit more funky? Then have we got the data pack for you! Hello again, Skunk Monkey here, and today in our Data Pack Showcase, what do we have? Well, I bring you an updated version of an old favorite. Yes, now we have a version for 1.18, and it is a Funky Flora 2. The Funkening by underscore humanoid. Yes, and uh, the Funky Flora, you guys may remember, I uh, did a showcase of it back in 1.17. And it has now been updated, so uh, let's let's load up a brand new world and check it out. Here we are in a brand new world, and as you can see, things don't look normal. Yes, just like Funky Flora the original, Funky Flora 2, the Funkening, makes everything just look nicer. We've got, oh actually we've got some gravel that spawned right there. We've got our little trees, and the trees got angles and branches, and they just look better overall just like it did before but there are some changes besides being updated for 1.18 there are some changes that i wanted to show you guys uh look at these rocks these are really cool looking rocks i like that boulder that's a nice boulder uh <laughs> but yeah everything is looking really cool uh let's go check out some of the new stuff though here we have a brand new biome well, I mean, you may recognize it as a flower forest, but it doesn't look anything like that whatsoever. As you can see, there are a lot of flowers here, but uh, the azalea trees have taken over. Oh, I just love, got little patches of the uh, rooted, rooted dirt there. Yes. Uh, and all these azalea trees looking absolutely awesome. Wow, I like this. I like this a lot. I wish... Wish Mojang had done this when they included azalea trees. Is make biomes like this, and I love it because you know azalea trees naturally have the flowering azalea leaves. They should be in a flowering forest, and this is a beautiful little forest. And it's just this little tiny one, and you got the little village right there next to it. I love it. It looks so cool. It looks so awesome. All right, let's keep looking. Next up is the birch forest, and Humanoid says that this is supposed to look more like the concept art that was revealed at Minecon 2021 with taller birch trees. Look how tall that one is. Whoo, that one is really tall. Uh, so, yeah, this has been updated to look more like they are going to be having it. Although, honestly, this is probably better than what they've got right now. Uh, like I said before, we've got our little gravel. There's a lot of bushes around on the ground you know walking through minecraft there's hardly anything on the ground unless you're going through a jungle and jungles are just no fun to go through anyway but oh wow that's kind of cool oh, wow, a geode right there with a mine cart coming oh, that's kind of cool uh but here you got a little bit, bit of bushes every so often and it feels very natural to be walking through it a, a little bit of undergrowth just going through here Looking really, really nice. Uh, I like the, did I see it, a diorite boulder sitting around here somewhere? Did I Did I see one? Yeah, there we go. We got diorite boulders. Uh, that was another thing that's been changed. Is Oh, is that uh, calcite? Yeah, we got calcite along with the diorite boulders. It looks really nice. So different, um, different forests will have different types of boulders in it. And uh, kind of fitting to it. I like having the white ones with the white birch. It looks very nice. Very nice. All right, let's continue on. The last updated biome that we're going to be looking at today is the Dark Oak Forest. And uh, looking really nice. I like these double mushrooms. That's kind of cool. That's very neat. Very neat. Uh, and as you can see, the the Dark Oak trees are a lot taller and more spacious under here. But also, we've got Dark Elm trees. Giant, giant Dark Elm trees. Look at these things. Absolutely massive. Just dominating the forest. And we got the cobwebs in there. And... Oh, looking really, really cool. I just, I, I love it because it just makes the game feel more immersive. Just to see trees like this, these giant ones. As you can see, we've got some moss carpet on the ground. I like that little addition as well. You know, dark forests like this are going to have moss on the ground. It's just going to look right. So, yeah, very, very cool. Uh, so those are the different things that have been updated. Different biomes that have been updated. Uh, ooh, lush cave under there. 
In addition to that, uh, Humanoid has also made it Terralith compatible. So if you have Terralith installed and you want to run this as well, it will work together. Uh, there are other things that possibly I've missed showing you. But, you know, the best part about a data pack like this is it's best to be seen with your own eyes. Uh, I can show you all the different cool things in here, but what you really need to do is download it, load it into your world, play it, and just enjoy it because it is a lot of fun. It just makes the game look so much better. Uh, and as always, a link to the Planet Minecraft page will be down in the description so you can check it out for yourself. Uh, but yeah, this is an awesome data pack. Humanity does an awesome job with these uh, with these world generation terrain generation uh, changes so I highly recommend you guys go out and try this oh these mushrooms are just so cool and if you guys enjoyed today's video please leave a like consider subscribing turn on those notifications you can follow me on Twitter you can join my discord channel and hope to see you guys in the next data pack showcase until next time